guys welcome back to my youtube video i go by winnie this is your first time here you're very very welcome here in today's video i'm just going to be giving you guys a story time my own experience <laughs> um of how i got my study permit extended in like four days like i i'm not kidding you that sounds impossible in canada just to give a disclaimer i am christian so i'll be sharing this story time based on my experience as a christian and like how i went through that period before we get into the video again guys subscribe my goal is to get to 800 subscribers because i'm almost there so i would love and appreciate your support through that so please subscribe let's get into the video this happened around like summer 2020 let's say june or july it was like coming out of the pandemic you know there was a whole lockdown situation i know different countries have like different experiences but yeah in canada there was a lockdown but there were it was around that period where like things they're opening opening up slowly but surely <laughs> so i live in ontario so this is based on like ontario experience too just letting you know but still in canada and it was during like my school summer break i what was i doing at the time so around this time i was like a full-time student like I, I was attending york university here i'm almost finishing my last year of school so it was basically crunch time for me <laughs> and this time period i was also working part-time you know yeah i was an international student as well so it's like working full-time working part-time but based on inter international student hours which is like 20 hours here yeah, a week that's not much but you know i wasn't complaining i was like my rent like was cheap so that wasn't as bad <laughs> now down to the nitty-gritty of the story the circumstance during that period was that that pandemic period was a hard time for not just me i'm pretty sure for a lot of people right I, I it was just a hard time in my life maybe another video i will explain or go into more details on like what i was going through at the time finances was something that my family was affected by that period international fees here too are not cheap at all like if you live if you've studied here in canada your in your tuition a year like in a university can be like 30k and the funny thing is that like it increases every year i'm just like wow i kept on making jokes back then that that york university is like making is like building the school based on our backs on international student backs because they will they'll be building new buildings like the subway station there's a subway station for york university in my school i was like ah like is, is our money international students money but anyways <laughs> not not me ranting since finances was like a big deal for me considering how expensive like our tuition my tuition was back then i hadn't like completed paying the tuition from the previous the previous year and the way york university system is is that like if you haven't paid your tuition like the year before other important documents that you might need you wouldn't be able to like they wouldn't like you know give you that important document until your tuition is like paid off fully from the previous year my study permit was expiring literally the end of july i think it was i think we're in july yeah it was expiring the end of july my tuition hadn't been paid as far as i applied for it applied to extend my study permit before it before it expires that was my goal essentially i needed a transcript from york university but because my tuition wasn't paid from the year before i was like i i literally they wouldn't give me my transcript basically and that was the one document that i needed to apply as well as other things for my study permit i was feeling down i was depressed for two weeks because i was now it was now like around the end of july my tuition is not paid 
I didn't know what to do how to get my transcript so that um yeah i can apply for the extension how to make the whole matter worse is that like the part-time job which i really loved at the time i was working for a company i wouldn't mention the name i actually liked the company i was working for even though it was part-time and <laughs> the minimum wage wasn't as bad you know so like it was something that i could manage even with the 20 hours a week was fine for me F of all of a sudden I, w I just my manager reached out to me like a week before my study permit was expiring and was like oh i'm so sorry that you know we have to let you go it's not like i was getting fired you know like there's it, like there are situations where it's like you are fired no it wasn't like that it was like i wasn't the only one she, the, way, the company was letting go of a lot of people like especially like my colleagues like part-time workers because they wanted to like money there was pandemic period a lot of companies were not getting a lot of money even though there was a big com company at the time but like they were, they had to cut costs you know what i mean and my role wasn't as like important so they like my manager unfortunately messaged me that period and had to let me go so i didn't react i was just like in shock so now to set the stage for you for you guys to understand my fear at the time my study permit is expiring end of july i hadn't paid my tuition yet i couldn't get my transcript i just lost my part-time job that that's basically was making me survive in this country and i was dealing with depression too because of like the situation like so like the anxiety and like the situation i was dealing with even outside this like it was just it was a weird it was a hard time my dear it was a hard time <laughs> now i know that was like a lot to take in because i literally just downloaded all the bad news let me, let's get to the good parts now like what did god do for me like it was like a week before my study permit was about to expire and i didn't want to go back to nigeria my home country because that's another story for another day but i didn't want to go back home because it, it would be hard to come back basically if your study permit expires and you go home it would be hard to get study permits like to come back to the con it would be just trust me on that it would be hard so that wasn't an option for me which is why like they were so anxiety inducing like just a week before I was already talking to like my friend here who is like an immigration lawyer that had helped me in the past to apply for like study permits like initially because I've been here since 2015 so I've been in this country for a while <laughs> as an immigrant but yeah like I reached out to my immigration lawyer friend about the situation and told him I didn't have my transcript and he was just like okay just come to the office so i went to his office like if my study permit was expiring like on a weekend i went to his office like on a monday sometimes in the most dire situations you just get creative so what we did is that like i took screenshots of my degree progress report i don't know if you know what that is like on your school portal like they are like there's a page where it shows like all the all your courses like all your degree requirements and like all you've taken so far your grades and stuff like that is like a full pages of everything so far you've done and what you still need to do guys that was my transcript i took screenshots of it that is what we printed out as my transcript i kid you not <laughs> so that was my transcript and then a letter there was also a letter that i needed to show that i'm going to start um i'm going to be enrolled or i'm enrolled in like the next coming years but obviously i couldn't get that letter because i haven't paid my tuition from the previous year and york university and i'm 
since i hadn't paid i wouldn't be able to enroll <laughs> in semester so that was also an issue so what my me and my friend lawyer did was that okay we took like a letter from the year before so i've i've already finished like completed the courses for the year prior that i'm still on the tuition but we took the letter and uploaded that and then we now submitted like we now drafted like a letter of explanation just explaining the whole situation and that i will be enrolled in the next semester i was also talking to the financial office at school um at york university someone that was helping me like figure out the finances like setting out a plan of how i can pay off the tuition for the previous year as far as i pay half of it they will let me like apply register for this semester ahead so anyways i just explained the scenario and drafted we submitted the letter of explanation then that was submitted that was like on a monday or something like that then i was just like okay god this is up to you now i just leave this in your hands and okay so that was the study permit part then the job part was also like you know heavy on my mind because another thing i had to consider was that if you don't have your study permit how would i work too as well and like i'm not about to go back to nigeria and you need your study permit to, for a new job even if i get a new job since i was already let go so i kind of need you need your study permit for everything at the time i needed it for everything because you know once like i got the message from my manager at the time that i was being let go i i at first i cried i was like you know shocked but i was like okay god i don't care how you do it provide me a job i don't know i don't care how you do it like this is the scenario my study permit is expiring i don't know how i don't know how to survive but provide me the job you take care of it L legit like I, I i just like left that to god and said applying for jobs like a crazy person but i was i, I almost anytime i was like afraid i'll be like god you handle it you take care of this you will provide me the job i don't care how you will provide it to me that was like <laughs> that's the way i was talking so funny either two or three days after like applying for jobs i got like a job another part-time job so it was just like wow and like the same day that i found out that i got a job that same day this was four days after for me just days just like maybe two am i even calculating this well i just know it was the same week my study permit was expiring mind you so days after applying for the submitting the study permit extension i just checked my application i don't even know what made me check but i was just like yo it's approved in four days like how is that possible but i just know okay it's good it's good because the timing and i also got a job too so it was like i i didn't have to worry about anything because it's like god had already provided me the job and he provided me the study permits that i would need to even start that job and it was like just like maybe two days before the expiry date of my study permits like if that's not god tell me what because that period the way i prayed I was and I was depressed too like that was I've never been depressed in my life but that was the period that I was like depressed I was even surprised myself so but all glory and honor to God for like just getting me through that period so the way God came through in in a matter of days because he knew that at that time I needed it like I was desperate I needed him to do something I needed him the most i didn't know how since i lost my job who will take care of me like how will i provide money like my study permit like how would this happen like i can't go back to nigeria just like no <laughs> that wasn't an option and yeah he just blew my mind and it doesn't happen for a lot of people like if you everyone knows that like when you submit like 
applications for most things in canada with like cic it takes a while to be processed and to get an approval so the way i got it in this it has to be god so i give god all the glory and i'm just sharing this testimony for to encourage someone there that might be watching like wondering how you get out of this situation i trusted in god because i believe in what christ did for me on the cross and and it took faith but trusting in in god knowing that like he would never fail me he did not at the time so just to encourage you keep holding on keep trusting god and if you are not christian and you're like okay yeah she's capping or like you don't know how it feels but yeah just trust god honestly and i can always pray for anyone that needs prayer just dm me or message me comment in the chat and we i would like respond but yeah trust god keep holding on and that's my story guys this is my personal experience so take it as you will but thank you guys for watching this video until the end i would love 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 if you subscribe get me to 800 subscribers i really appreciate it i love you guys leave your comments like this video take care of yourselves and see you guys in the next video